Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. And we are in our 56th week of dealing with this madness from the bat flu pandemic. Stay at home, wear a mask, don't go anywhere, go cabin crazy. <laughs> uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about, we've all been going through it over a year now. There's been some signs of relief, but <sighs> still crazy. Oh man. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 50%. And that's 26 degrees Celsius. I guess it's 26 point something, I guess, but this app doesn't give me the the points. So tis what tis, right? Road again. So, uh, let's see. Yesterday, had the G Brats on board, and they were busy yakking, 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 and you know it would be really cool, Pop, if it's tied to tied a rope to a bicycle and you towed it to our house. I was like, okay. I said, how about we strap the bikes on the roof and you ride on the roof? No, Pop, that'd be dangerous. <laughs> uh, excuse me. So, and I tease them all the time about, you know, if they get if they get out of hand, I'm going to strap them onto the, the hitch carrier on the back and whatever. But anyway, we got to the park and we were about a block from the from the office. I pulled over and said, "Y'all want to ride on the on the carrier carrier rack?" And both of them jumped on it. I mean, literally, yeah, yeah, and flying out the wind out the door and. Uh, Got back there, their ten-year-old brother, the work work that he is, turned around in his seat, looking out the back window. What if things fall off, Pop? Don't go fast. <laughs> I was literally just above an idol. We only went 200 feet, 300 feet, not even 300 feet. So, but they thought it was the greatest thing. Now they've gotten to ride in the back of the pickup truck the length of their driveway and they always think that is awesome of course and occasionally mom will let them ride firemen on the running board of the, the suburban doing the same thing it's a hundred feet at idle speed They just think it's it's fantastic. They both spontaneously came up and gave me a hug. That was fun, Pop. <laughs> Doesn't take much. One second they're mad at you and hate you because you told them they're cute and cuddly like a puppy and the next year is the best thing in the world. <laughs> uh, so I 
went to my daughter's last night. We went to a a barbecue shack for dinner. And it was decent. Not like your world on fire, but it was it was good. I had a it's a Texas style barbecue. And I had a chopped brisket and pork mix sandwich. And there had to be a half a pound of, of meat on that sandwich. It was good. Oh, it was real good. I couldn't eat it all. French fries were lousy, but... Uh, anyway, we got back to the daughter's house, and I got my mobility scooter out of her shed and took it out to the out to Sherry got the rack all set up I didn't realize when I bought the rack that it is just as long as the mobility scooter like just as long it almost doesn't fit I had to literally squeeze the ramp up into place so I don't know what I'm going to do. I could um, put kind of like bend the one end out a little bit and put extension pieces on it. I don't know that I like that idea. Although it might be might be the only option I have. So the other thing I'm thinking it's going to be easier to try at any rate is to uh, put blocks under the wheels and raise the front wheels up so that what looks like the bumper on the front rise up over the rail and that'll give me a little bit of extra extra that I need. So I need to give that a try, but it's those types of things, like, I didn't really, I didn't think about it, it's like, you know, it's a rack designed to hold a mobility scooter, and not thinking about, they come in different sizes, and the one that I have is um, one of the largest footprint wise but it runs really well off road well my daughter's yard isn't like that bad but it was up it was doing up and over uh, what is it like two inch stepping stones as long as it had one wheel up in the air or up on top then the other wheel would climb if, if it tried hitting two stepping stones at the same time with both the front and rear wheels then it wouldn't it didn't have enough oof to get over it but that just means a, a moderation of my my driving skills so uh must be a patrol officer sitting up ahead because traffic is running super slow. Oh. Oh. It's supposed to be nice all week. I'm hoping to get out at least a couple of nights and explore with the with the scooter, try it out. Tonight is my granddaughter's and one grandson's um, last night of track, so I'll be going there. I haven't decided whether I want to take the take the van or not. Uh, 
van with the scooter on it. I probably will, and that way, uh, depending on what time we get out, I can actually go out and I might be able to go out and explore with the, the scooter this evening. We'll see. It's another one of those things that I've had the scooter for what a month, thereabouts, and uh, haven't really gotten out to use it because I stored it at my daughter's house, thinking, you know, well, it's just not that far away. It's only like seven or eight minutes, depending on traffic. But still, you know, you it's seven or eight minutes getting over there, and then, you know, a couple of minutes there, even if it's just getting the scooter and. It, that never happens so you know it ends up being a half hour 45 minutes and just you know it, it never really happened happened so I've just got to set my mind to the fact that I need to find the key to the shed that's that's the part that's the main part and uh Yeah, clean and, and uh, get the inside of the shed organized enough that I can get the scooter in there. I don't think it's going to go in straight in because of the shelving that's in there. I'm not going to take the shelving down. So I'm going to have to at least find a way to put it in diagonally. It's doable, it's nothing major, and it won't take me long. It's just another one of those things that like, you know, I, I wanna do it, I know I need to do it, but I don't have to do it right now, so I haven't gotten it done. <laughs> and I'm bad with that, I know that. But I'm not gonna change. I know, because I've tried in the past. I am fairly well set in my ways. I'll never see 60 again. So, you know, it's been a, it's been a day or two that I've been this way. I get aggravated with myself sometimes, but oh well. Oh, oh, excuse me. Man, we got some pollen going on. Uh, I walked outside today. One of these days I need to have my camera when I go out to get ready to go to do this trip. But I walked out today and my windshield looked like somebody had painted it green. <laughs> Greenish yellow or whatever. So, uh, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever you draw leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If you're low into nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If you're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. I see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. It's watching y'all. Bye-bye.